Hey, hey guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet and today I have my top three picks from Ikea. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All of these items came from Ikea and they are my absolute favorites and I tried to pick some things for different ages so you can uh, get a good idea of what Ikea offers at very affordable prices. Um, the first is the Busy Beads. This obviously is for the younger child or maybe a baby. Um, you have to assemble this on your own. It comes in these three wire pieces and all the beads. You can essentially decide which beads go on what. But you assemble it. It was fairly quick to do. There was just some screws on the side here and you pop in the wires and you're done. And this is great for uh, fine motor. So you've seen these all over the place, but Ikea has them at very affordable prices and I highly recommend, um, especially because it's made out of wood. The second is this set of blocks. It comes with a little rolly tray that has a string on it so they can push it around and pull it around. Um, I believe this one came already um, assembled, which was great. And then there's a whole bunch of building blocks inside all different shapes and sizes. And what's really neat about this, I'm actually missing a couple pieces. Uh, there's some are probably underneath the couch, but what's really neat about this, I'm gonna dump them out on the floor here, is that inside the tray are the shapes. So you can match up the shapes and put the shapes back in the right spots to where they belong and know what you're missing or what you need and know how they fit all right back inside so you can store it um, flat. Then my last Ikea uh, find is this farmhouse. Um, it's pretty large as you can see here and it's a barn or a farm and it's great because it's all fabric and there's different textures along the sides. So over here is kind of has a uh, ribbed texture on it and I'll turn it around so you can see the back. And then it opens out flat up here from the top like this. Now mine's not exactly organized, but you get the idea. Um, on the bottom here, there are little flaps that fold out and you can create scenes on your farm. Now before I get into all of the goodies that you can get for it and that come with it, I want to show you here that the farm has a little path that you can go across and then it also has um, like a little pond here at the bottom. Uh, like a water pond. Each section is a different texture. This is like a satin. The green grass is kind of like a, a felt or a fleece. And then the path is just like a regular cotton poplin. Inside, it's all Velcro for the second level here inside the farm. So you can take that out if you don't want to have it or you can keep it in. And then the farm comes with different pieces and different accessories you can buy additionally, but once again, it's all very affordable. So I don't think I bought all the sets, but I bought two of the sets. Um, we have a, a truck here, a blue truck. There's also this red tractor, and it has a pull-along piece, and it just Velcros right onto the back of the truck so they can pull it along like this. The red tractor also comes with a plow that attaches right to the back as well, so they can change it into a plow. All these are made with uh, fabric, and they're nice and soft. You get fencing, different size fencing. Here's a long one, and then on the bottom of the fencing, there's this Velcro, so it just sticks right on to your, your scene here. So you get a long fence and a couple uh, short fences. As you can see, they're all sticking together. And then you also get a ladder to go up to the second floor. Once again, Velcro on the bottom fits right onto the, the scene. Animals, some of the uh, animals are sold separately. I don't remember which ones. You can look on the website to find out for sure. So we have different animals, cows and pigs and sheep. horses, more cows, and then you also get the babies as well on some of the sets, little piglets. A 
a little cat. Here's another fence. Um, and a swan that can go in the water. Well, the pretend water. <laughs> These are little, um, I guess, baskets that can go in the back of the trucks, or you can have them out in the barn somewhere. And here's a little haystack. And then, oh, actually, another haystack. And then I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm maybe a barrel of hay or like a stack of um, wool or something. I'm not 100% sure. If you know what this is, please leave me a message in the comments below because I've been trying to figure this out for a long time. It's gray and it looks like it's supposed to be divided into things and I don't know what this is. So any guesses, just let me know. It does have some Velcro here on the bottom, which leads me to believe that it would stand up like that for some reason, meaning barrels of hay, but I'm not 100% sure. So anyway, um, when you're all done with this set, they all go right back inside here. Cleanup is so easy on this one. And you have a great storage case to keep everything inside. You fold up your, your play mat that comes with it and right back up Velcro to the top. All right, so those are my top three Ikea picks for toys for kids. If you like this video and want to see more reviews like it, please hit that subscribe button. Click the thumbs up to show your love, and I'll see you in the next video. Learning the alphabet, and then they use their fine motor skills to push open that clothespin and to put it on to match.